All right, so we're running through the genre guide for a PSMT. Now, this video is about the introduction, but we're gonna kick off with the word limit. Um, now, this is so important. That's why I'm mentioning it at the very start of this thing. This needs to be 10 pages long. Now, exclude the title page you've got, exclude the appendices, but every other page, 10 pages. If you put something on page 11, your teacher can't read it, and that's a real shame. Um, the word limit is 2,000 words. That's an absolute maximum. Now, if you go over 2,000 words, this can have really serious consequences for your mark. I've seen students lose five out of the 20 marks because they went over the word limit and their teacher wasn't allowed to mark some particular section like their evaluate and verify section. So it is super, super important that you adhere to this 2000 word limit. Now, you do need to talk to your teacher about what's included and what's excluded in that word limit because different schools are interpreting that slightly differently. Talk to your teacher about a what a 2000 word limit looks like. Okay, that's not what this video is about. It's about the introduction. Introduction doesn't seem important, but it is. Um, you're trying to get this part of the ISMG needs to include a suitable introduction and this part here, this is really where you nail it in your introduction, which can be read independently of the task sheet. So, you can read what I've written here. I'm not gonna read this out to you, but I am gonna tell you this. Here's my like number one tip for writing a really good introduction. Write your introduction and then find someone who can read, maybe an English teacher, and ask them to read your introduction. If they don't understand what the task sheet said, then your introduction is not good. They should be able to read your introduction and without looking at the task sheet, i.e. can be read independently of the task sheet, they should be able to say, yep, I know what you've got to do. You've got to predict the population of etc. da 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 da. Oh yes, I know what you've got to do. You've got to compare this against this. They should be able to explain to you in their words what your task sheet is. If they can't do that, your introduction is no good go back rewrite it test it on your parents test it on your english teacher ask them to read your introduction can be read independently of the task sheet simple that's all i got for you